Hi, James here from the XIR team. Today, I'd like to give you an overview of the new features available in XIR Search 2026, our new AI-powered Lightroom Classic plugin. I'm really excited about this new version, and I think you will be too once you've watched this video. Now, if you've used XIR Search before, you already know it helps you save tons of time when searching and organizing your Lightroom Classic library. But in addition to all the powerful features included in the previous version of the plugin, XIR Search 2026 offers three major upgrades. First, there's a brand new XIR Search panel that makes the plugin's tools instantly accessible to you. Second, we have powerful new AI-assisted culling tools. And third, we have support for video files now inside Lightroom. Let's take a look. First up, we have the new XIR Search panel, which gives you near instant access to XIR's AI tools, as well as a few other handy features. To open the panel, you can choose Library, Plugin Extras, and then Open XIR Search Panel. Or you can just use my preferred method, which is to hit Alt plus X on your keyboard if you're a Windows user, or Option plus X on a Mac. But I'll open it here. In the XIR search panel, you'll see image previews in the center, a face magnification strip on the side for checking sharpness and subject ID, and a right-hand sidebar with quick access to XIR's core tools. So prompt search, uh, keyword search, duplicate detection, similarity search, and more, as well as the new XIR culling tools. You can minimize the panel at any time to keep your workspace clean by pressing the Hide Photos button here. And it sits really nicely alongside the Lightroom window, so it's easy to work across both tools at once. So if you want to find a photo using prompt search, you simply click on the prompt search icon and then run your search as usual. And you can do the same with the people search and so on. And by the way, while the panel includes access to most XIR features, you can still access each and every function in the library plugin extras menu. And in fact, there are still a few functions that are only accessible by the plugin extras menu and keyboard shortcuts. So just keep this in mind when you start working with XIR Search 2026. Now let's go ahead and maximize the panel again because I want to show you a few cool new features that it brings to the table. For one, it's great for sharpness inspection, especially when you're reviewing images that include faces. You can toggle on the magnified face view option here, and then when you click on a face on the right-hand side, it'll be magnified really substantially so you can check your focus. But the new XIR search panel makes it even easier to check focus because it indicates whether a face is sharp by changing the color of this little icon here in the corner of the magnified face view. The greener the icon, the sharper the focus. And you can visualize this even better by toggling on this button here, which adds these colored boxes around each detected face. Now, because the XIR search panel features do work off of Lightroom's own previews, it's important to set your preview size carefully to ensure both fast loading of images in the XIR search panel and to get the best possible sharpness evaluation. You can choose your XIR search panel preview size by going to File, Plugin Manager, finding XIR search. Then you scroll down here, and here is the preview size option. The higher the preview size, the better the sharpness calculation. That said, bigger previews can also slow things down, so if you do decide to use one-to-one -one previews in the panel, we recommend ensuring that you pre-compute or pre-build those one-to-one -one previews in Lightroom ahead of time. In the same vein, if you don't use one-to-one -one previews in the panel, we recommend adjusting your Lightroom standard preview settings to match the panel preview size. And it's a good idea to pre-compute standard previews in Lightroom as well. That way, you'll get the best possible performance. 
Now let's dive into another huge new feature in XIR Search 2026, AI-assisted culling. The core idea behind culling is simple. You want to reduce a large set of images into a smaller collection of keepers. But whether you're a professional photographer selecting photos for clients or you're an enthusiast looking to identify your best images for a website or social media, the calling process can take a lot of time. And if you take new photos regularly, it can get intensely tedious and time consuming to call all of those images. Fortunately, XIR Search 2026 offers powerful tools that use AI to break down large batches of photos into far more manageable groups. And if you so choose, you can have the AI automatically reject, sort, and select images based on a variety of characteristics. So let me show you what I mean here. First, I'm going to select a batch of images for culling. This one is from a pre-wedding photo shoot and includes around 900 photos. So the goal here is to find the best images in this large batch. I'll start a culling project by clicking this button here in the panel. And in this dialog box, I can tell Xire how to group my photos. That is, do I want the AI to group together images based on the faces that they contain, or the content they contain, or based on their visual similarity, where similar photos are grouped together, or by the capture date and time, or by image sequences or bursts. So for this first pass, I'm going to keep it simple. I'll group by visual similarity here. So XIR clusters together images with similar backgrounds and poses. I'll group by capture date using 15 minute intervals. So I'll change this to quarter hours. So I get a nice overview of the different periods of the photo shoot. And I'll also group by people. This is more for the sake of demonstration than anything else because since this is a couples photo shoot, there are really only two people. When culling a batch of event photos, however, it can definitely be a lot more useful. And I'm going to leave the other tabs for now. We'll explore those in a moment. Now Xire will reorganize the images in an Xire Culling Projects collection set. But bear in mind that this is all non-destructive. Xire is merely adding images to a new collection set. Nothing is moved or deleted from the original folder or collection. Inside the relevant calling project here, I'll find collection sets for each of my chosen settings. People, visual similarity, and then capture date. I'm gonna click here. This is the visual similarity collection set. And in the XIR search panel, I can actually switch here to the calling group view to see the different groupings of visually similar images. If I double click on a group here, I can see the entire set of visually similar images in Lightroom, and I can scroll through them in the XIR search panel using the arrow keys on my keyboard. And as I go through here, I can pick my favorite shots. I'll add a pick flag there. I can also scroll through here and just take a look. And when I flag these images with a pick flag, they're automatically added to the selection collection, which is right here. And then as I'm going through, if I hit escape on my keyboard, I can actually go back to the culling group overview, then double click on another visually similar group. And then I can just go through and review these images. And by the way, I can always sort a group of images by various attributes. If I select this button right here, sort photos in culling group, this here, along with the tools in the search panel, can help me determine my best images even faster. And if I want a different view of my images, I can always click on one of the other groupings, such as capture date here, and I'm going to hit escape. So I go back to the group overview here. Plus, if I don't quite like my results, I can always adjust my settings and tell Xire to refine 
the groupings. So I could change the sliders here to get different results, then run the grouping process with my new parameters. Now, as I mentioned before, the people grouping isn't so useful if you've just done a couple photo shoot, but it's great for weddings, events, and high volume photo shoots where you wanna make sure you select photos of all the key subjects. XIR here has created one group for the man and then one for the woman in this uh, couple photo shoot. And then it's also created a few others. For instance, here, there was a guy passing by right in the background. What's nice too is that you can actually rename a group in the panel. So here I can just change person one to Anne and I could change person two to Mike. And then if you see here, the name is actually changed in Lightroom. Finally, let's go back to our original batch of images and create another culling project. Because XIR actually offers another time-saving culling feature, Smart Selection. So here in the Smart Selection tab, if I enable this, it tells XIR to automatically select the best images from each group using AI. In the Smart Selection tab here, I can choose attributes such as face sharpness, eye sharpness. There's uh, global sharpness. If I had changed this to visual similarity, I have this global sharpness option. There's eyes open. Uh, there's aesthetics. And XR will use the selected criteria to apply flags, stars, or color labels to the best photos where you can decide which exactly you want XIR to use. And by the way, you can also tell XIR to automatically apply rejection flags to photos based on sharpness, based on exposure, and then based on whether the eyes are open or closed. So I'm just going to select a few options here. And then if I go ahead and hit start, I'm going to end up with a selection collection here that's full of images, all of which have been chosen by XIR's AI based on my criteria. And then all I have to do is just scroll through these images either in Lightroom or in the panel. I can zoom out here so we can get a slightly better overview. And then I can just say, add rejection flags to the images that I don't like. until I'm just down to my final selects and I'm ready to edit the photos or send them to clients or post on social media and so on. And by the way, even if I started a culling project without smart selection enabled, I can actually activate it later on. I just press this button in the panel here and the dialog pops up. Basically, these calling features make it so much easier to select your best shots from a batch of 200, 500, 1,000, even 10,000 images. And since they're flexible, you can incorporate them into your workflow in a variety of different ways. Last, I want to briefly discuss video support because XIR Search 2026 can now analyze video files in your Lightroom catalog in addition to image files. And as a result, you can easily manage your photos and videos in the same place. So XIR Search adds descriptive keywords to your videos. Here you can see that XIR labeled this video with keywords such as bicycle, cycling, person, sport, street, and vehicle. If I mouse over to the next one, this video gets beach, cliff, sailing, waters, and so on. And you can quickly find videos using XIR's keyword search, but also the similarity search and prompt search as well. For instance, I can run a similarity search on this video, and XIR will find similar videos and photos for me. And if you look here, XIR's found a bunch of similar videos in my catalog. You don't need to do anything special to make this work. 
Just be sure that your video files are analyzed by Xire and the plugin will handle the rest. So that's a look at what's new in Xire Search 2026. We've got a brand new panel that makes Xire's tools so much more accessible. We've got dedicated culling tools now, and we've got support for videos. Of course, the plugin does also include all the AI-powered tools included in the previous version. And as always, everything runs locally on your machine, so you don't have to worry about data security. If you're ready to try out Xire Search 2026, we do offer a 14-day free trial, and I'll include a link in the description below. And you can purchase the latest program from the Xire shop on our website. I'll link to that below as well. Thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, click that like button. Of course, for more tips and tutorials on Xire's AI-powered photo management tools, subscribe to our channel.